Hi, I'm Peter, the owner of Data Sciencing Consultants. In this video, I'll briefly demo a dashboard that we can design for you in a couple of weeks. They'll allow you to use your time more effectively to help your business grow and remain competitive. So let's pretend you own a couple different types of companies. So here, this dashboard, the main menu, uh, in this case, a uh, freezing group of companies. So here we have uh, Friesen's Family Restaurant, Friesen's Office Supplies, and Friesen's Woodwork Manufacturing. So you could either look at all these charts yourself, if you want an overview of what's going on in different aspects of your companies, or these could also be designed for specific managers, uh, like directors, like someone's focused on just on the restaurant, they can just look at this section. You might have a finance department that needs to look at different uh, companies. They can also use this dashboard as well. So we'll start off here with the uh, restaurant survey results, the overview. So here we can see this is uh, feedback we got from a survey that was done a while back. So this is out of five. So here we, we see the food, the average score is three and a half. Uh, almost 80% of the respondents were, 80, were highly satisfied. And so we see the cleanliness overall was relatively good. Uh, waiting time and reservation process were right in the middle. So almost 50 percent between the uh, highly satisfied, dissatisfied, and uh, satisfied and highly satisfied. And here we see reception and server uh, were ranked quite a bit lower than we'd want. At the two and a half is is a halfway point. We probably want that higher. It depends on if that's worth investing. You think uh, there's more value, you could look, see how oh, maybe we can get these numbers up with uh, less investment, maybe it's uh, the training issues or you're understaffed, maybe it's hard to keep uh, quality servers uh, in your region, for example, you can check what's uh, going on there in the reception, maybe there's just the uh, training needs to be done. And if you wanna look further, uh, this could probably be more for the uh, restaurant manager, uh, look at the results by age. So here we see the uh, groups 20 to 39, 40 to 59, and uh, 60 plus. Here we see the 20 and 30 year olds really like the food over 90 percent were highly satisfied. We can check they were more uh, satisfied with the reservation process than the overall average because uh, remember that was about two and a half so here we can see the halfway point so again you can quickly check uh, 40 50 year olds yeah food and cleanliness is really good not quite as happy with the waiting time and reservation process again reception server wasn't great and then here we can see the trends waiting time was above average and here the actual reception and server they rated them the best of all, all the uh, age groups and from the average. We can also check the results by customer type up here. And so this is, the types are frequent, frequent customers, uh, casual customers and one-offs. So we can, if your uh, restaurant manager, marketing team wants to focus on certain groups, uh, maybe frequent customers, they had the uh, lowest scores here with reception and server. So we wanna help boost uh, our sales with the, that group, focus on these, this area. Uh, this group also had about the average waiting time reservation process. So uh, I guess that's good depending on how you're measuring and, and maybe you can focus it on trying to improve waiting time reservation process. And this, this hasn't moved up to three, which you're hoping uh, and that's not great, but maybe it's down to two from a previous survey result. And then the casual customers, they actually yeah, rated the reception server highly relative to the other uh, categories and other age groups outside of, I think the uh, 60 plus were really good. And the, the uh, actually the casual rated the food, I think the highest, especially in this group, uh, quite a bit higher than the frequent customers, which is kind of interesting. They don't, <laughs> they don't like the food as much, but they're coming more frequently. So maybe you don't need to uh, invest as much improving their experience uh, since they're already coming frequently. Uh, I mean, ideally you want to, boost the experience for everyone, uh, but you only have you know, so many uh, marketing dollars or investments. So we can focus uh, you know, the casual, like the reception server. And actually here they have one-offs, the waiting time was really high compared to everyone else. So that's kind of good, good first impression. Uh, 
reception they thought it was actually they had rated really high as well so uh, that's interesting uh, you can briefly review see how things are going look at the results of the survey without like reports or just looking at numbers you can easily see with these bar charts and the numbers where everything is landing and the restaurant manager is most likely to look into this further or maybe your marketing team maybe maybe focus on certain areas and they really want to see if things have improved uh, maybe they were the ones who helped bump up the uh, food for the one-offs maybe because food's really good so maybe you've been working a lot uh, improving the kitchen uh, it seems to be paying off depending on where it was before hopefully it wasn't uh, too low food it looks like it was going really well in your restaurant company and next we'll check this is the uh, office supply company this is the profit analysis so this one uh, there's a lot going on in this dashboard lots of charts I'll briefly go over it this might be one you would uh, if you're the owner of your company you uh, look at some of the overview here or definitely the manager or whoever is doing day-to-day -day, uh, with the office supply company would could delve into this a lot uh, for lots of information so here I'll quickly show, show you here's the furniture here's the subcategories kind of self-explanatory profit bookcases are doing well appliances tables huge loss twenty one thousand dollars that's not good uh, and then fasteners and labels aren't doing great but I don't know how much uh, profit there's there might be one of those products you just have to sell to make sure you can boost your other sales you can see the regions so red is worse the darker red the more uh, loss profit loss and the darker green is the better profits so here you see Manitoba is doing well and North Dakota and down here this is the customer sales and profit so this is you can show a customer name customer name you can see the discount the sales and the profit so uh, the profit here is the um, x-axis the bottom axis here so we can check out the higher sales oh kind of in the way let's check out see for Philip got a 40% discount so the profit wasn't great and, and the size of the circle in this case is the discount size so that's why you can see the these high profit uh, customers uh, had 0% discount which is what you want more profit and some of these are only 10% discount so that's really good here with Natasha Sykes you know, $5,000 sales and close to $1,800 profit and not coincidentally these huge circles are in the loss section so these are the customers who got huge discounts a lot of 50% discount these are all these losses you can see these clumps and then we can see these huge pro uh, well, problems uh, where we had lots of losses so here this melody uh, sale loss is almost as much as the sale was 50% discount here we see David Toto got a 85% discount so he is what circles the hugest and he one of the uh, biggest uh, losses here for profit so you can they can investigate uh, you or you can discuss with the manager what's going on here uh, and you can filter actually by clicking on the customer and seeing what region they bought so they bought uh, two well loss of two thousand dollars worth of furniture specifically tables and this looks like it was mainly in Manitoba and you can click here as well you can this is what yeah your supply uh, company can spend lots of time the manager possibly your controller and warehouse can see what's going on can delve really into this without looking at uh, like static reports or, or a lot of numbers and tables you can really see okay if there's in Manitoba uh, this customer had a, a $2,000 uh, loss and they're not really buying much more to offset it sometimes you, you know the customers we give them big discounts in certain areas if they're helping us out uh, purchasing things in different areas but in this case this customer is not uh, offsetting that so that's why it's an overall loss and we can see yeah, even in British Columbia <laughs> there's not much profit there even if there's more loss enough. I'll show you other ways you can filter this dashboard so you can really explore what's going on in your company the data very visual in, almost instantaneously see what's going on without, without having to look at yeah like I mentioned static charts or numbers and tables so here this is all the years we can click through 2011 you can see everything's changing here this is for 2012 we'll go to 2013 and 2014 and this is this is a sample data set uh, it's obviously a couple years old so i'm filming this in 2020 depending on what year you're watching this in and here we can also uh, obviously you can filter by region so we can look at eastern provinces uh, we can look at our u.s customers because i'm based in winnipeg so 
this might be uh, maybe you're based in uh, North Dakota and you're looking at uh, you have a lot of sales here in Canada so look at the uh, prairie provinces and see how things are going so this is where the huge tables lost us so we, we can actually just click on the tables and see oh yeah tables is not doing well but maybe you just need to sell those with the furniture maybe there's a problem in your system maybe you need to explore yeah 70 percent discount this is 85 one again 70 percent discounts yeah maybe you need to explore uh setting warnings in your system when someone's trying to give above 50 percent discount so to save for a sale that's less than two thousand uh, dollars that would potential or even locks where the manager has to approve these giving all these discounts for the tables creating these huge losses so uh, we can actually check here as well uh, if we just want to go by certain categories so we don't want to look at furniture just a little, let's look at technology maybe marketing team has been focusing on that copiers are huge profits whichever ones you want or again this is probably uh, some of these details more likely for your office supplies director uh, possibly finance team uh, especially discounts I know I've worked a lot of finance departments a lot of CFOs and controllers and the discounts and markups is always a uh, ongoing discussion uh, what's the most profitable which helps the most so this can help you easily see so we'll head back to the main menu and look at the last company here is Friesen's Woodwork Manufacturing this type of dashboard is an overview one you can look at uh, this is manufacturing change of a quarter so here we see percent difference in sales from previous quarter so from we're not comparing to 2013 so from 2014 quarter one to 2014 quarter two uh had 54 percent increase in sales and then here it dropped 14 but it went up to zero uh and then it went down a bit and went up so you can briefly see here over the again this is a different company other the office supply was data set was 2011 to 2014 this data set for the manufacturing is 2014 here to uh, 2017 and now we can check manufacturing uh, quarterly comparisons so this is where it's uh, each quarter you can see here uh, is compared by the year so this is quarter one this is the difference from the previous year so this is comparing to quarter one 2014 and then this is the comparison from change from quarter one 2015 to 2016 so this might be one you just want to briefly look over and maybe your finance department or uh, marketing team wants to look at this more and investigate see what's going on so maybe the marketing team wants to look at this and see kind of comparison over what's going on so this is huge minus 12 percent minus two percent and then up to 25 percent uh, increase in sales from in so this quarter four 2017 compared to quarter four in 2016 you can briefly see the you know, this is kind of intuitive the intensity of the color corresponds to the magnitude of if it's profit or loss go back here to the main menu so you can see there's lots of different types of dashboards and charts we can design for you and have them all in one spot for you to easily go over and look at the different ones you want to look at or again you have certain employees that need to look at specific areas you have certain employees or partners that need to look at uh, specific areas of your companies in this case you can, you can customize the backgrounds here for your corporate colors branding uh, all these companies here used uh, different colors and different fonts to correspond with uh, that brand you can add your logos here this program I used is called Tableau uh, if you haven't heard of it they're the most sophisticated interactive dashboard program out there uh, they were well ahead of any other company for many years and then a couple years ago Microsoft Power BI started to catch up but then Tableau's, you know, trying to be competitive, so they bumped up what they were doing. And actually, last year, Salesforce bought Tableau for close to $16 billion. So Tableau is really pushing innovation, and they're going to be the top of the line for many years to come. If you'd like to have a discussion to see if dashboards like this are suited for your company, you can contact me at 204-770-6437. Or email me directly at peter.koebel at datasciencing.com. Or you can visit our website, datasciencing.com. Again, I'm Peter Kerbel, the owner of Data Sciencing Consultants. We're a professional business intelligence firm that helps sophisticated companies remain competitive.